I'm Joy Domes and I'm a counselor for Ranch Ridge. You have to rely on your other co's and your unit leader a lot and I think that's how God showed himself because I found out very quickly that I could not counsel by myself and that I had to rely on other people. The stick of might. To week four, the, uh, the camper that I wound up being able to talk to um, on Wednesday night when I was talking to her that she was going through a lot of struggles on forgiving people that have done her wrong in her life and so um, I was able to like know how she felt so we were able to like talk it out. We went through scripture through it and um, I realized that she was one of the reasons that I was there and we just like cried and just read scripture and stuff like that and it was just like a really good time. So. Caleb, what are you doing? I'm filming videos for camp. Why? There's campers over there, but you're shooting footage over here. You know what, Noah? I'm gonna make it up yeah. to you. Let's hear it, let's hear it. Alright, let's rate the ground. You know what? That's a great idea. I love that. Let's do it. We're gonna break the ground. We have the ground inside of Fort Paradise. It's a lot of loose stone. Over here, we have our mini mud thing going on right here. Lots of mud, lots of water. All in all, I'd give it a 12 out of 10. Perfect day for swimming the fort. <laughs> Alright guys, right now, we're up at the top of the rock tower, okay? You can see we have a gorgeous view all around us. This technically counts as ground because I get to stand on it. That's why we're up here. But just because of the view alone, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Die Die's attitude makes it an 8 out of 10. We have the mud pit. This week, it's pretty muddy. Feels pretty good. Not too rocky. I'd say 10 out of 10 mud pit today. Quack, 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 quack. Hey guys, I'm Brady LeGrand right here in the petting suit, and I have Nifty Nicole with me as our special guest for this segment. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I literally can't use it. Very <laughs> What is wrong with you? It's not bad. It really wasn't. Because it was just like... The poop exploded on me. What do you well, mean it yeah. wasn't bad? On you it did, not on me. You threw poop on a white shirt. Hey, this shirt is so good. I'm obviously going to have to the bath though. It is so good. Time, I'm like, when is he gonna put it at the ground? Uh huh. Yeah, when I'm done recording. No, <laughs> That's I like you, you coming over, and I saw you bring it up, and I was like, okay, he's gonna bring it back down. And you brought it back down. And I'm like, Amen. I got this. Ah! I'm Colin Beebe, uh, and I'm a camp crewer on food prep. <laughs> the camp crew experience overall, it's uh, it's. It <laughs> It's something. <laughs> I've gotten a lot of experience, okay. whether it's okay. property services, working on the grounds, watering flowers even, or working in the kitchen. It helped me get ready to work at an actual job, for one thing, like in just a job experience in general. But then on the biblical aspect of things, I have gotten so much closer with my walk with God and just having the people around me to encourage me and to just be a light in my life. That It's just been a really, really big, I would say positive, um, experience for me. The advice I would give uh, a first year for camp crew, never think you're a bother to somebody. Never think that what you're doing doesn't make a difference. And I know that coming from experience, I used to struggle with that, thinking that I was helping too much or being a hindrance to those. But in reality, we, we really are the backbone of this camp. And like, the more help that you give, the easier everybody's work is going to go. And just like, it, it may be troubling sometimes. It might be a struggle sometimes to um, to think that you that you matter even. And even like outside of camp crew, just never think you're a bother. I'm Lucas Cardin, and I was a camp crew counselor at the food prep in the kitchen this summer. My camp crewers. Um, all the guys that were in my room, they were working with me. Uh, and it was very cool because I was able to see both how they would react to situations or interact with me in the dorm, but also in the work area. So um, that helped me really to understand more who they were 
and how they interact in several situations of life. All from like as a oh, camp crew counselor, me. this summer I was able to experience something very different from being just a normal camp counselor. And um, the difference is the fact that I get to share eight weeks of my life with these guys. I get to know them in a deeper way, see how they live in the moments where they are in their highs or their lows, but also the opportunities that I get to really influence their lives and to learn from them and even just enjoy very good moments and just to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> Tell me something funny. Do the roar. <laughs> Bobby, do the roar. Do the roar. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>